What's going on, guys? I'm going to lower this volume a little bit, for one thing. And uh, today we're going to explore... I started the recording immediately, so you guys are going to get the very beginning of my arena experience uh, to the very end of my arena experience today. So we'll see how this goes. Um, Chris saying, I can't wait to get home and stream some arena. <laughs> I remember when I was there, we were talking about it, and you said you weren't sure where you would fall as far as interest goes. So, um, <clears throat> Okay, so Dex... Uh, collection. Are these all my cards? Look at the size of these things. Turn one common wild card into sacred cat? No, no, don't do that. Oh, this is interesting. So, I can, I'm using my mouse wheel to scroll back and forth through all these cards. This looks pretty good. I, uh, I guess this is, <clears throat> this is the number we have. Of four. Okay, okay. Okay. What does this plus do? Let's find out. I don't know what it did. Oh, I guess we're in a, I guess we're in a deck now. What if I click on this cartouche? Okay, so we put. Whoa! It just threw twenty-four planes in there. What if I go to islands and add a blue? Now it goes twelve and twelve. This is interesting. I can't get green cards now. So now I can only get. Oh, okay. I have to uncheck these to get the red cards. That's interesting. Eight, eight, and eight. <clears throat> okay, so that's interesting. Can I really support a spicy cheese stick build around strap? Probably. I imagine there are some spicy cheese sticks in here. I don't. I don't know where they'd be. I was under the impression that they were going to have precons in this update. Selecting the color changes the color you can see. Yeah, but it. It also like it's a toggle, right? So this makes red. This makes black and red visible. This will turn off automatic land suggestion. I think I do want that off. I'm an adult. I can't... How do I not... Can I not bring all of them? I literally have to just click this like 30 times. <clears throat> Alright, not a super big deal, but... Interesting. Let's see what... Well, I guess we're on high, because... Because uh, we should be. Alright. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Packs. Discard changes. I don't want to do anything. Oh, look, we got some packs. All right, that's pretty cool. Uh, what do we got here? An evolving wilds. I guess this means we have four already. Maybe. I don't know what that means. I don't know why it's grayed out. Where's my collection? Can I not go to my collection from here? Anyway, a release to the wind. Not super exciting. Okay, so no grayed out cards here. And a Dire Fleet Poison. Okay. LaFoe, what's going on, buddy? Crafty Smut Purse. Okay. Okay. That feels like the correct name, right? Uh, no more grayed out cards. <clears throat> and Grass Marauders. We're doing well here, guys. Is it too loud? Hold on, let me, uh... Interesting. I can go to Master and lower it down to, like, 30. We'll see if that's better. And I'll raise it on my end so I can hear it. Oh, these are nice. These are wild cards. I guess this is an uncommon wild card. This is a common wild card. So you can exchange them for... You can craft any uncommon or common with them. Which is interesting. Alright, so... Ooh, that's a good one. That's a spicy boy. I guess this means it has two sides. I keep wanting to zoom in, so... Let me know if that volume is a little bit, guys. Can we get a planeswalker? One, one, let me get a scarab god out of one of these bad boys. Yep, that ain't... That is... This is a mythic? Man, that card's doo-doo. Wrong mythic magic online. Magic arena. <laughs> oh, Bontu's last... How many... How many... I don't know how many ticks that, uh... Imminent Doom. Holy smokes. Literal... Like, these, this is the worst... These are the worst cards ever. Ooh! 
Guess we got a Scarab God after all, boys. See, now this, this Evolving Wilds is not grayed out. Interesting. Maybe I had Ixalan Evolving Wilds, but not regular Evolving Wilds. Oh, that's a good one. Get packs? Do I have to buy packs? Oh, a thousand... One thousand gold. Isn't a pack on Hearthstone a hundred gold? That's ten times as much. That's interesting. Alright, so let's go to... Where's our cards? Do Is just decks and cards the same thing? I'm confused. Unlock the vault by collecting cards and opening packs. Okay, well, I'll do that. Um, I guess we can go to edit deck. Okay, this button is not clickable right now. Collection. All right, we'll go click on collection. <clears throat> uh, all right, so these are these are things. Let's go check the evolving wilds. Okay, so I do have four Ixalan Evolving Wilds. What happens to the ones when we have... If we open a fifth, what happens to it? Because it's clearly not here. Does it just gray out and we never get it again? Is it just gone forever? That's weird. So what if I click this? How do I... How do I make... How do I turn this into a thing? I don't understand. Do I have to go to unowned? Huh. Do I just make Scarab God? <laughs> it goes to the vault. Oh, it unlocks the chest up to the right. Alright, good to know. So if we if we get if you have like four of something already and you get an extra, it'll go up to this vault here. Alright. So we're learning. We're learning. We're getting there. Should I just make a scarab god? Turn one mythic wild rare mythic rare wild card into the Scarab God. Does that seem like the best card to make? I don't know. Probably. One thing I do like is that all these mythics are worth the same amount. <clears throat> Click the wild card emblem. I mean, what does that mean? What are you saying to me right now? Is this it? I think that just shows your wild cards, right? Oh. So, oh, this is just, this is literally unowned, right? So look, unowned is not toggled. When you click it, unowned is toggled. So now it's, oh, okay, so... That's weird. It's weird because it's both the wild card and the unowned. It's it's labeled as two different things. That's so uh, that's interesting to me, from a UI perspective. Um, all right, so what are we doing here? How do, it's hard to know what I have. I wish there was like three rows instead of two, because two rows is not a lot to really figure out what's going on here. Like obviously we're not going to be able to build any standard decks. Um, we don't have any more packs. Good to know. Right, it shows you what you don't have. It shows you the unowned, right? Like, like, but it's also showing me the owned as well. So it's owned and unowned are both highlighted. So you have owned and unowned. And then I unclick it, and it's just owned. I don't know what this is, though. It's just, what is this? What is this? What is this weird thing? Is this rares? Gold. It's gold. No, this guy's not gold, though. Is it cards that... Cards that have more than one color, I guess? Because this activates for white, so it kind of counts, and this is a split card. I guess it is. <clears throat> now, it's cards that... I don't think there actually are foil cards in this. Maybe there are. But that would actually <clears throat> be a little more complicated, because then you have, like... How can you make a foil, right? You just can't, because there's no, like... So it looks like it's just gold related cards. Any card that has more than one color association. Okay, we have four of all of these lands, which means it makes me think there are decks on here. 
So where are they? This is interesting. <clears throat> I guess I should put MTG Arena over here. I don't know, Dad. I'm okay, Dad. See, we can still do that. Mm, MTG. MTG Arena is not even on Twitch, actually, so it's just got to be Magic the Gathering, I guess. Um... Wow, that's pretty funny. We have to like wait till Twitch updates it to uh, to put Arena on there. Frank, I'm going to need you to help me to build a deck that I don't understand. Standard block construction Arena doesn't support Legacy Vintage. <laughs> Chris, I got you, buddy. We'll do it. Uh, discard changes. <clears throat> you got to build the decks. No pre-made decks. There was, they literally said they were giving you 10 pre-made decks. There was an email that said they were giving us 10 pre-made decks. So I'm just wondering where, where my decks at? Let's look up rares and mythics. Let's see what we got here. Look how blurred everything gets when you do that. All right, we got two regal caracats. It's pretty okay. Got a crested butt mare. God, I'm sorry, Quacker. God, you don't have to be so aggressive about it. God, draft boys get so upset. Why are the draft boys so sensitive? All right, what's going on here? I like Vana. See, here's the funny thing. I don't think anyone has the ability to build any, like, super powerful constructed decks with this so what do you build do you build like a like do you build the kind of deck that like you would put together when you first started playing magic you know what i mean like hey man i'm gonna play this uh this is my deck i have only one vana in it because that's all i owned and um you know i i you know i have one vizier of the menagerie so i'm gonna put that in there um let me see if i can find it I think it was, I don't know if it was an email. I think it was on the on the closed beta message board. I'm looking right now. Yeah, I feel like you do just you just use a uh how do I make other cards, though? Like, what if I want to make Chupacabras? Like, how do I make big Chups? Let's do that. Let's just make Scarab God, because that dude... Oh, look at that. We made our first Scarab God. Baller! How do I put it in a deck? I just want to... Okay, I guess I hit the plus sign. I said, didn't I turn this off? You can get uncommon wild cards too. Yeah, you can, but like, what if I want more than the, the number of wild cards I have? What is the what is the means of doing that? No, no, no two is enough. What about hostage taker? Nope, don't have that. All right. How many rares do I have? Just one rare left? Oh boy, that's scary. Alright, let's see what we can do. We're gonna make... Let's add the blue. Uh, we got two ops? Alright, we'll play that in our constructed deck, I guess. So, like, am I... I only have six commons. Can I only make six commons? Because that's interesting. Like, how do I make more than six commons? Especially on the... You can't make cards like in Hearthstone or Eternal. Alright, so... So you literally just have to buy packs? I can't even buy the packs, though. You can't, like, spend money on these packs, right? Yeah, save the changes. Dex in this form, would you like to save and... Yeah, of course I would. Why wouldn't I? 
So I hate get packs, right? And I can't spend money. I also don't want to spend money on this. But like, I don't. This is the only method to do that, and I have zero gold. So, um, purchase gems not available yet. Redeem code not available. So, well, I mean, it's probably available. I just don't have a code. So. All right. Don't think you can buy. Yeah, so we can't buy packs. So I'm, I'm literally, st I'm just stuck with the the cards I have. I suppose. I, I hope that's going to be good enough. Uh, Champion of Wit seems pretty good, right? We got one of those bad boys. One of those bad Larrys. Oh, we got a Supreme Will. All right. I feel like with this few creatures, uh, or with this few cards, we should just be playing uh, like 40 or 50 or 30 card constructed. Probably not 30. That might be a little bit of a stretch, but I'll, I'll put a Glyph Keeper in here. I mean, they're basically, we're basically just playing, um, like, limited constructed decks, right? Everyone seems to be on the on the same playing field, right? I can't imagine that there's anyone with, like, super broken decks. Where's our... Actually, where's our Azkanta? How come it wasn't in there? We opened that search for us content. I didn't see it. There it is. All right, cool. What's this? Whoop, whoop, whoop. All right, cool. Um, I wonder if Sailor Means is actually good. Uh, there's nothing before Amonkhet. It's Amonkhet, Hour, and the other two. I mean, this is a beta. You gotta keep that bad boy in mind. I'll put that one spell swindle in there. Oh, Nezahal? I, yeah, good good call. I, I saw someone, I saw you mention it. We could play Overflowing Insight, because that's the mythic you want to open. <laughs> I'll put an Entrancing Melody in the deck. Sure, why not? Moment of craving will do. One walk the plank. Okay. I guess we'll play Bontu's Last Reckoning. I guess. Doomfall seems good. So we're basically just playing blue light control here, right? How many cards are in our deck right now? How do we know? There's no, like, total. This is just ten. Oh, we just have to add these up. That seems less than ideal. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 25. This is 25 cards. We almost have a deck already. God, we're doing really good. We're not playing in pale. Um. Oh, we're not. Dang it. I, was, I got real excited about Vana for a second. I guess we'll play Tetsamok in here. The bar chart thing in the upper right. Doesn't still doesn't say the total number of cards, right? I mean, this is good. This is good information, but hmm. what's the suicide wizard? What are you guys? What are you even saying right now, Lafof? Change the view by clicking the four square icon in the top right. Is that better? Is that better or worse? Oh, so these are the two options? Yeah, but I'm pretty visual. I like that I can see these. I don't know. I don't know if either of them is preferable right now. Consign to oblivion. All right, so now we're just looking at the black and the the blue cards. Bone yards. Oh, Dire Fleet Wizard. I got you. Oh my god, I'm getting real confused here. 
Or Dire Fleet Poisoner, yeah. Oh, it's a pirate. It's not a wizard, though. It's just a, That's just a removal spell, though. It's just a 2-2 two -two that comes into play and blocks a thing, right? Um, What's our blue to black ratio? Is this it? Is this what it is? Is this what... Is that what this is showing right here? Higher, 10, 10, 58% blue and 38% black. All right, let's get some lands, I guess. Colorless cards. Do we want, do we even play with a sideboard? Isn't it like one match games? One game matches, rather? Uh, we'll put in two of these bad boys. Put in our one field of ruin, sure. Oh, put in one arch. All right. Um, how do I get... Hmm, actually, that's not terrible. How do I get one more, though? Okay, so that doesn't... I want to I wanna add more than this. How do I add one more... Do I have to, like, search for island? weird nope that doesn't work okay um i just want to add another island to my deck i don't want to play 24 lands no nothing That's weird. I mean, I can't imagine it forces you to play 20. F okay, disable auto suggest, but now you don't. Nope, that's just sending them back. And I feel like I've disabled auto suggest multiple times. It's not under blue, right? Because <laughs> that seems. Nope, alright, that's weird. Huh. Click on the plus with the mountain symbol. That just goes to this. Oh, alright, so... That's weird. These, how come these weren't here before? <laughs> alright, because there was for the first land it was Arch of Araska, if you guys recall. Even if you don't recall, it was still Arch of Varazka. Get wrecked. I don't even care about deserts, really. Alright, so... We'll have one more swamp. I think 25 is fine. Now we can add our remaining, like, what, 9 cards? Nope. So I have to actually go to this view to, like, see the numbers without counting? That's weird that it forces you to go to a different view. It doesn't feel like it'd be that difficult to just put the number of cards. Yeah, I imagine... So my, my theory here is that once auto-select is... Or auto-suggest is enabled, it's not going to give you the, op the option to play lands. So you have to disable... Auto auto suggest in order to get your lands which is weird because I thought I disabled it I'd like to disable it forever but I don't know if there's an option to do that which is kind of obnoxious that I have to disable it every single time because the, the options here are very minimal right like you have sound okay you have graphics and that's it those are your only options <laughs> so weird strange All right, so return to Gnarland, or discards two cards. This is fine. We're just playing a... Uh... Oh, we can add some blue cards. CHR Wit, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate the sub. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. Um, We can add a couple negates here. Put two more in the side, Bizzle. You can never have too many negates, right? No, you can. Five is too many. 
I don't think these cards like the the cards are so big. Like that do you really need this bigger version popping up? Like you can see everything on the cards, right? Like the the text is clear. It's not too small. So like I feel like it's actually more annoying when it pops up because I can't see the next two cards over when I'm looking at it. You know what I mean? Like when this is popping up, I can't see these next two cards. So that's kind of frustrating. Or I wouldn't, I guess I wouldn't mind if there was a delay, right? Like if it was like a, a four second delay or something. Then I could hover over it and not feel like I'm going to immediately miss things. Like I'm actually actively avoiding hovering over these. Um, whereas like in a game like Hearthstone, you can hover over a thing and it doesn't pop up immediately. I don't, as far as I, I know. What up, Jordan? And also, I'm going to be nitpicky because I'm just, you know, this is the first time we're playing the client, first time ever seeing it. So, um, you know, I'm going to give my honest feedback as we learn it together. Unless some of you guys already know about it, in which case, whatever. You can learn it by yourself, then I don't care. Might have to sneeze. I feel it. It's right there. It's coming. I feel like our deck is almost done. What do we? How many cards do we have left? Four cards. Interesting. I guess we can stick on this screen. Put two spell pierces over here. I don't even know what to put in the sideboard. We need four cards. What four cards can we put in this deck? Can we make anything cool? Jlink87, you can subscribe by going to the... Um, I want to be part of the Salt Timer. Don't we all, my friend? Don't we all? Um, there should be a way to do it on my Twitch page. I think it's a little harder from mobile, but it's definitely available on the Twitch page. Um, Hornswoggle is just a bad exclude. See, like, look, if I hover over Secrets of the Golden City, for example, I'm covering up three cards. The Shadows, 519, just because you're making my Thursday more interesting and less depressing. Wow, that's a, I, I appreciate it. Also, six, six D faces is pretty good. Thank you so much, man. You are awesome. Um, but like, like I'm saying, like, if you, if you hover over one of these bottom cards, it covers three other cards, which makes me actively avoid it just so I can see everything that's on the screen. You know, like I'm trying to like keep my mouse cursor in between these, these lines. So... Um. J-Link, thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. Make another Supreme Will? I can do that. I like another Supreme Will. Bang. Look at that. That was magic. It puts it in the... Look, it puts it automatically wherever you are. So if I was in the sideboard, it puts it in the sideboard. Did I move it to the... How do I move it to the main deck? Oh, like that. All right. We did it. All right, Supreme Will's back on the menu, boys. Whatever that means. It's not a real saying. No one says that. Do we just play Overflowing Insight? All the links to like donate or subscribe are definitely in my uh, Twitch profile. So Rivers we broke. Rivers we broke is rebuke is pretty good. We can play one of those dudes. That card's pretty strong. Uh, two more cards. We need two more cards. Um, let's put this Golden Demise in the sideboard. That seems like a sideboardable card. Yeah, we got a Spell Swindle in here. I just threw it in there because we we need cards because we got this basic account. Do we just play Dire Fleet Ravager as uh, as our guy? As like a finisher? Actually, it's, it's each player loses a third of his or life. That's... that's <laughs> Enemies MTGO. That's you. I think we were on the same page there. 
Okay, you guys are... Wow, all three of the draft boys are saying Suicide Wizard. All right, we'll just put the Dire Fleet guy in here. That's aggressive. Where is it? Dire Fleet. What, what's the order? Are these in... Oh, two drops are in a... Okay. Oh, we have two of them. Oh, we'll just put both of them in and that'll be our deck. All right, let's play. Can we play? How do we play some games? Uh, play. Boom. I will select my deck. I'll select this one. All right, let's do it. How do I change my avatar from Tangarth? Oh, hello. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh geez, which one do I want to say? I'll say hello. Hello. Wait, the mythic we were on was Suicide Wizard? I'm pretty sure the regular rare is Suicide Wizard. Do we mulligan any of this? We can mulligan you. Oh, we don't actually... Wow, this is not a Hearthstone. This is not... We either have to keep them all or mull them. Wow, I totally forgot about that. That's hilarious, dude. Troy, thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. Have some cash. I will. Thank you so much for the support. Awesome. I guess we'll keep this hand. Wow, I totally was like, oh, I guess I'll just mulligan this one ravenous chupacabra. What does this mean? Does this mean he's on a clock? Where's our time limit? Do we have a time limit? I don't know. Um, I can't tell where my time limit is. I guess it'll start ticking down. Click to add a stop. Let's go to end turn, I guess. Okay, so you're playing a Vanguard. That can resolve. Okay, can you guys just tell me what the Suicide Wizard is? Because I thought it was Dire Fleet, Rav the Dire Fleet Poisoner. Can you just tell me the name of the wizard? Is it the Ravager? The other Dire Fleet guy? You guys are utterly ridiculous. Alright, is it my turn? Is it their turn? How do I know whose turn it is? Is it their turn? Because their bar is yellow? I don't... Is it... Is it... No... Is it... My turn? Is it... Cycle. I guess I'm in your end step because this is like... Okay, now we're on my turn, I think. Okay, we're gonna play this guy. This is weird. Here's 17 islands right at the front. Oh, you wanted a different land. Oh, I guess we're doing this. Oh, look at this jobby. All right, that's, that's a thing, all right. Um. Go to combat. What is... Why does this little emote come up? Why does this... I get that you can do that. Oh. Now it's changed. Alright. That's interesting. Okay. Duskborn Sky Marchy. Yeah, you can res Yeah, that's fine. You can have that. I'm gonna move this mic stand because I'm like... Whoop, whoop. Alright. It's a little better. It was like... All up in my face. Is this guy... Yeah, we can go to... Con so this... This is telling you what you're going to by clicking the button, which is kind of weird. So I assume by clicking it, we go into the attacker step. Now I'm in, now I'm I go into the block step. 
Let's go into the damage step. Let's go into the my turn step. You're at your end phase. All right. Nope. I'm just going to cycle both of these because... All right, my turn. Okay, do we just doom follow you? I feel like we doom follow you. Exile creature. Wow, opponent's turn. That's crazy. They, what if I have packed of negation here? How do they know? Did I just end my own turn? This is starting well. Yeah, so because they didn't give me anything to do on their turn, they literally just took all the control away from my turn because I had nothing to do. Um, I thought I ended my own turn to go to their turn. Or I thought I ended their turn, actually. Whose turn is it? It's their turn? Oh my god, this is... I can't do anything, right? If I click end turn, do I still get to resolve to the do do I still get to respond to their things? Let's find out. End turn. Okay, well they didn't play anything, so. Like Let's duress you. Choose target opponent? There's only one. <laughs> okay. Fail to can you fail to find on a duress? If they have a choice, don't you have to make it? Weird. Who's Jeff? Um, yeah, we're gonna take the gates out and make more essence scatters. That seems important. Okay, so I'm going to hit end turn again. That was a good top deck, by the way. Oh, do they still get to... Do they just play with the, the, the swamps revealed that we've seen? That's interesting. Um... I really want to land here, but I really want to kill the Maverin as well. Um, top. What? Okay, top. Done. That's a little confusing, but... Look at all my life. Wow, see, look, it ended my turn automatically, and it just goes to their turn. That's super weird. Because doesn't it tell the opponent you don't have anything? That's weird. Well, there's no brainstorm any anytime soon, so... Also, I feel like this takes up a lot of real estate. Like, I don't... Can we hide this? Because, like, why do I have some lands of, like, nothing's going on over here? There's like a lot of empty space right over here. And there's like, why is there all my lands on this one side? Done. I don't know what you're really asking me here. You can click on a phase to stop at that phase after you click on the button at the bottom end. Yeah, I know. Well, I know. That's why I had this clicked. But I guess it, it turned off. So that's... It's all very strange. That's what we're looking for. All right. Why would you leave Field of Ruin up? Why would you tap the the swamps instead of the islands instead of the Field of Ruin? That's not preferable. That's weird. It's weird that it just says to my opponent, you have nothing. Like, what, what if I had a, uh, like a, 
like a one like an opt-in hand right like how does it know I mean, it's not even about how it knows. It's more about, like... It's about how, like, it lets my opponent know that I don't have those things. Um... So we take three, four, five, six, huh? I didn't choose target. Uh, my my opponent for obvious it keeps leaving the field untapped that's so weird it's obviously colorless mana is less preferable in colored mana right like that seems like a pretty okay it's on their turn I click the end turn button let's see what let's see if that does anything I can pre-tap to avoid it obviously but that's not what I'm talking about I'm just talking about like why would it default to leaving colored mana tapped. Oh, that's pretty good. Where's my Bontu's Last Reckoning, huh? So we're dead. So that's cool. I guess we could... Like, you can't even play this. Like, we can play it to... to crack. Swamp, swamp, swamp. And then we can pull for like two, I think. What's what? No, wait, no, just bring it back. Wait, what's going on? I want to undo. I want to bring it back because I want to pay the mana myself. Um, now what? Pay two. There we go. Okay. Oh, goody. How do I concede? Alright. Death becomes a Sigma Swamp sound effect every time I play Swamp. I don't know. Let's go change. Let's go add more Essence Scatters. I can't tell if I'm less of a fan right now just because I'm not used to it or because I'm too much uh, of a like an MTGO purist or what. I can't tell the reason that I'm not. Let's take negate out. Um... What up, Zaxor? What up, yep. Just... Let's just go. It doesn't seem intuitive. There's a lot going on. And, like, I don't know if you guys if you guys knew, but I wrote uh, an article about MTG Arena for PC Gamer with my, my thoughts on the, uh, the client. And one of my biggest um, issues was that there's so much going on. There's a lot of sound effects, and there's a lot of uh, special effects, and there's a lot of graphics, and there's a lot of buttons and phases, and like, it's, <sighs> I don't like this hand. I, I, I don't want these negates or these duresses at all, actually. Control shift is full control, would like to see. Okay, so do I just hit it once? That's, okay. Always holds priority? That seems annoying. Requires manually tapping lands and play. Okay, sure. I just feel like I shouldn't I shouldn't sound this confused. Draw. Okay, I didn't even draw my do I that's weird because I was it's it's my first turn. So 
I guess we can just go end turn. Sure. Did you hear that cat sound? We'll go to attackers. Block. There's no creatures. Um, we're the end step, so we can actually cycle this. Did we lose? Okay, so this went... Why did this go away? <laughs> okay, that's weird. So this just left in the middle of like, the turn, or what? Okay, I guess we're done. I'm going to end turn. Look, the, the full control mode left again. Do I have to hit it every single turn? Okay, so that's annoying. <laughs> that's surprisingly not okay. Um, uh, hold, full control, hold full control. What? Pass until response, undo, pass, pr okay. Um, Exert, create a one, one white guy, sure. End turn, bottom ends, full control. Why, like... Why? <laughs> Why does it do that? No damage. We'll go to end combat. Go to your second main. We'll go to your end of turn. I'll opt. Uh, if you hit anything on this bar, it cancels it. This isn't a lock button. It just doesn't do anything. Why did I pay two mana? Why is two mana in the pool? What? Okay, so I play this. Shoot. What the hell? <laughs> My time is running. I don't even know what's going on right now. Opt? Okay. Pay a blue. Oh, the, I gotta click on the blue? This is something, man. Draw. Why is this... Oh, we're not in the main phase. We have to go to the main phase. When it says main, it really makes you think that you're in that phase. That's a little misleading. I'm not a fan of that. To the, to the surprise of no one. Okay. Attacks. Main and turn. Okay, this is a little more my speed because I'm clicking through the phases. Go to your main phase. Like, if there was an arrow that said, like, forward main phase, like, to imply that you're going to the main phase, that seems a lot better because what I think, what I think when I see this is that, like, that's the phase we're in. This is representing the phase we're in. And when I click it, we're going to the next one. We're leaving that phase. You got exerted that dude? Okay. Ugh. Is it my oh see like where I'm waiting, like we're going to go let's go to the combat. An attackers. Okay, let's go to the attackers. What is this like? The what is this hollow? Does that mean it's this wave pattern? Does that mean it's got summoning sickness? Damn. And combat. Well, why would it be a foil card? Because this is the, the the card that made it isn't a foil card. That oh, you're being I got it. You're a kappa. <laughs> I see.
I mean, it just might take some getting used to, but... So it taps the mana for you, but then you still have to click on the three mana symbols? Strange. All right. I guess we're just taking Submerged Boneyard. Because we really need a land. Okay, click it. Okay, done. Bottom. What? What in the... Sure, I don't know how that... I don't know how that's going to look. <laughs> that's weird. My turn. Draw. God, we're not in the main step. Oh my god, dude. You have to you have auto tap enabled in the settings menu. That's why it's tapping. I don't mind that it taps. I just don't understand why it also has the mana up here. Like it's gonna tap it, but then I have to manually add the mana? That seems a little weird. Okay, nope. You. Sure. Choose you. Choose. So what I have to confirm it? There's only one opponent. Why are there two? What? I'm really confused. Pay black. Okay. What the f Okay. Does that... I have to tap it, then click on the black, too? Am I clicking this? What's going on? And now I have to confirm that I'm resolving it? Oh my god. Oh, oh my god. Jiro. I don't even know what these cards do. Angel of Con Condem Condemnation. Uh, probably getting rid of this. Yeah, we're getting rid of Dusk Dawn. What? No. Yes, no. No. Get rid of this one. Done. So my whole turn is almost over? Like I have to like rush now? Why is this clock here? What is the hourglass for? Like I can obviously see the time. That's weird. Am I clicking this? What's going on? Like you guys saw me click the the the, the black what I what do you mean? I don't know what's going on. I'm done. I just want to go back. I want to do Masters 25 drafts now. Draw? Oh, I'm, I'm on their turn. Is there a way to know whether you're on their turn or your turn? Is the blue... I don't think the blue is indicating their turn, right? Um, Sure. Yeah, their line is highlighted, but it's still not. Why is it? Why is it red sometimes and blue sometimes? That's my question. Is it red just when I when I click it and then I don't release? So, like, if I run my mouse over, it stays blue, right? Blue, 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 blue. If I press the button but don't click it, it turns red, orange, and then it stays... Like, I'm just holding the mouse button now. That's just a weird thing to do. It says main over here, so I'm like, oh, I'm in the main phase. And then I'm not, because I'm... Did you see that little lizard? I did. I did see that little lizard. Okay, we can't click on anything. Nothing is interactable. Am I still waiting? Wow, look how long it takes. Watch this. Click on it now. That is a delay, dude. And then I have to play this. Whew. 
resolve. Look at these lands are chained, man. This has been interesting. I'll say that much. With arms wide open. Oh no. When it enters the battlefield, we search library for Planeswalker Vilt put in your hand. Do they have one? I wonder. I guess you can't play Jira if you didn't craft a Planeswalker with your... What white Planeswalker is there? Gideon of the Trials? Yep. Alright. Sweet. We have a negate. So that's okay. Imagine canceling arrow who got to click 15 times on the mana. Well, you'd have to click 15 times down here, and then you click another 15 over here. That's the thing that's confusing me. Because, like, if I put this spell on the stack, I shouldn't have to tap these three, and then tap three more over here. Once the spell is on the stack, the mana I'm... the lands I'm tapping should be the lands... should produce the mana I'm using. And if you guys... like... Nothing is intuitive. We sure nailed those chain graphics. But, like, the thing is, um, if I'm wrong, if this is just me and I'm, like, exaggerating or if I'm just, like, if, if you guys feel like I'll just get used to it, let me know. Because I don't want to, I don't want to be overly critical. Wait, on the real though, what's with the chain graphics? <laughs> my lands don't untap, that's what they mean. Oh my god, I keep reading main and I'm assuming I'm in my main phase. It's super weird. We know three of the cards in there. What is this, their graveyard? Is this in their hand? What is this? Why is this over here? I don't know why that's not... not How many cards do you have in your hand? Is it four or is it three? What are these two dots over here? What is going on? None of this makes any sense. I do, I feel like I have so many questions. The cat wasn't revealed. Why is the cat so much farther than the Dusk Dawn? Like, the cat's all the way over here, and there's this big gap. No, this guy's never resolving. I put it on the stack. What's it It's not asking me to tap mana, right? I can't tell if it's underneath the... Choose this. I chose it, but it's still... It got the arrow here? Submit? Doesn't. Shouldn't the arrow go away after you choose? I clicked it. Oof. Hold on, click this one. That's a lot. That's a delay. I clicked it. Look at that delay. All right. Resolve. This is the most entertaining stream in months. Man, dude. Is the cat because it has Embalm? Yeah, well, maybe, but why is it still over here? You may exit our kitchen vendors. Can you can you for an old comment? Yeah, sure. You got it. Okay, so this is for Embalm. Does that mean it's in his hand or that it's just a, an option that you have? Because the card's in the graveyard. Oh, so it's in the graveyard. But they're just putting it near your hand so you can remember? Oh, boy. So it just looks like you have three cards in hand. Okay, so try adding the mana to your spell before... To, to the mana to your pool before you cast the spell. All right, let's try that. Let's go to your end. All right, adding a blue. Bringing this up. Look, it still hasn't added, though. There, look, it just... I literally went down here to go to, to click it, and the mana was, still wasn't in the pool yet. What's happening right now? Did you... Pay blue. All right. I clicked it. Whoa! 
Wow, did you see how long that took? It looked took like a half my timer. That's rough, dude. I imagine it's... Okay, so to be fair, I imagine it is pretty laggy because people are probably on right now. They did send out... I don't know if they've done it yet, but they're sending out 100,000 more invites. So let's, well, let's be fair. But it, the problem is that it's laggy in a game where you have a timer, right? It's taking up my time while it lags away. I really, I'm at 12. Does this guy have like, you know, source of the plane charge print? Sure. I'm just going to pass, uh, kill this guy. Try to anyway. I don't know what these are. Like this timer with these, th these bubbles next to it. This one says no, no bubbles filled. And then it says timer times two. I have two bubbles filled and it says timer times zero. I feel like if you don't know how this is worse than MTGO, you just actually don't play MTGO. I don't know. I don't think the match has a timer. I think it's all predicated on your on your own. Um, like all your moves are timed instead, like like a Hearthstone kind of thing. You can have this cat. Those are timeouts. You can get timeouts. Like if I have to go to the bathroom. Now, how did I get one? Why do I have one now? Why is my timer going? Sure, let's go to combat. You can bring your attacker. If your timer runs out and you have no time, that's you lose. Uh, pay one and a black. Boom, boom. I'm putting my hands up so you guys know that I have clicked the button. I'm gonna, I'm gonna time out just because the, the blue mana, the, the island is not tapping. Oh my god. Do I hit it again? Oh boy. Block. <sighs> um, blockers. Damage. Oof. Oh, a nine. End combat. Main. End of turn. It's not looking good, boys. <sighs> Take four. I feel like maybe just maybe the close base should have been longer. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, this is probably better because they're going to get more feedback, but... I just logged out of random by going through the tabs in setting. I don't know what I don't know what any of this means. Alright. Oh no. Oh definitely not. Okay, let's try to click first, right? I'll use my mouse so you guys can hear it. Or I'll, I'll put the microphone toward the mouse so you guys can hear the clicks. I just clicked twice. Like, 
This feels this feels unusable in the sense that like I literally can't even resolve this spell. Nope. Can't do it. Timed out. I was unable to spell Swindle. Or I'm able to spell Swindle even though my time ran out? I don't understand. Oh, look, the arrow is still here even though I submitted. It's all right here. Just use this. See, look, and you, you mentioned tapping first. Um... Can we draw a pull from tomorrow? I feel like I'd be okay with that. Even though I, I was unable to spell Swindle, it makes me really uncomfortable. Um, I doubt we'd be able to tap all of this mana efficiently with pull from tomorrow. I, I feel like we'd probably lose the game. Nope, go to attackers. I still, like, my biggest problem so far is not being able to get used to the fact that this, this button is not indicating what phase you're in it's indicating what phase you go to by clicking it, which is not, it doesn't feel intuitive. Like, I feel like it's asking me to block. Okay, I'll block because you're telling me to block. But no, I click this to block, and that's weird to me. Damage, um, yeah, I'll take four. Hey, Ferd, would you say that you are whelmed? You are whelmed by this? You are not whelmed by this? All right, my turn. Draw. Sensor. Tap this. Hands up. Got it. All right, we did it. Boom. Sensor's out there. Pay a blue. Boom. Pay, I, all right, there we go. We did it. Yes, resolve it. It's on the stack. Oh, that's a good one. I think that's a good one. Can we... How many times do I have to drag it out here? We're not even the main phase? Oh, so you can see my concern. Put you out here. I was really excited about this. Um, okay, pay... Alright, this is not going to be fun, right? One, two, three... And there's a tactile tactile feel. Like, when you when you press the mouse and the, the, the lands respond... Um... Yeah, I mean, they have Dusk, whatever. I mean, what are, what are our other options? We go, to, we go to one here, right? So, I don't know. We can actually doomfall it and get rid of it, so that's fine. Oh my god, dude. I can't, I just can't. I'm going to lose the game. Am I missing something? It's a, there we go. We got that one. That one, that one went through. I have no idea what's happening. It doesn't even say pay seven anymore. I can't, like none of these are even clicking anymore. What the, why does it say, why am I paying seven now? Still clicking. Is this am I am I doing something wrong? Like I'm at my I'm at a point where I just feel like I'm doing something wrong. Like I'm putting my mouse up here so you guys can literally hear the clicks. What if I go over here and press these? 
Nothing there either. All right. Oh. Okay, server. Well, server loads one thing, but um, <laughs> you are doing something wrong. You aren't drafting M25. Fair, fair. I mean, we might have to at this point. Is there an auto pay thing? Yeah, I mean there is. Auto tap. But the, the problem was in the first game before you got here, Connor. Um, we would have it auto tap, and then it would leave like it would leave one mana untapped because we would only have one mana left, one land left. And it would be like Field of Ruin. So it doesn't leave like a swamp or an island untapped. It leaves the colorless mana untapped. So I'm like, that's weird. <laughs> yeah, Monsonster. I just ignore you. Nailed it. Pay four. All right. One. Oh, boy. How am I not dead? What is... I don't even know what the... Okay, so... I don't know what the the time... The, the hourglass times zero means. And I also don't know what these three mean. So... Yeah. Oh, yeah. I ignore you guys. What up, Mike? Good to see you, buddy. Um, yeah, I feel like we are on the verge of conceding here. All right. Well, that's a thing. All right. I subbed because they told me he only answers subs. Is that true? No way. That's not real. Don't say that. That makes me feel bad. Arena seems super frustrating, doesn't it? That is uh, correct. I, uh... After... Yes, I understand after three timeouts are kicked from the game. I don't know what the dots mean. Are these the timeouts? Is the hourglass times X the timeouts? What's the... I just... I hit concede, and it's actually still asking me to pay three mana. I just logged off because of the lag input. It was crazy frustrating. I subbed, and you barely answers me when I mess. Well, yeah, but no one wants to really talk to you, so... Got him! Hey, look at that. We just lost. Hey, we got 225 coins, though. For a loss? That's actually pretty good. That's like a fourth of a pack. That's actually pretty good. I'll claim it. Sure. Okay, on that note, um, I'm going to call this MTG Arena stream a failure, unfortunately. Um, I, 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 I don't think it's a... Um, let's be real. They're in the beta still. I think they're going to get better. Um, because they have to, right? Like that's just the that's you you either you either you improve or you die. I think in this in this digital card game market, right? And um, unfortunately, the input lag is a little too much right now. There's also a lot of interface things that are just not they don't feel that intuitive. So, not thrilled about that. Elkter saying, "Give it one more go." I don't think I have it in me right now. Put the suicide wizard in this time. We're not doing that. We will, we're going to go draft some Magic 25. So um, if you guys are watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching. Um, hopefully we will be doing more MTG Arena streams, I'm sure, until I until I until it's either super improved and we can, we can get some great content out of it or before we realize that it's just not going to compete with Magic Online. I'm not sure which. Um, I, you know, I wish I had, I wish I had a, uh, a more solid, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, I, impression of which way that would go but whatever it is what it is right now and uh i don't know it's uh it's still a work in progress so we'll see but um yeah thank you guys for watching slam those like and subscribe buttons and i'll uh, see you next time